Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MONTY whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I will try to show you my four uh, the favorite decks in Royal Trials by far. Uh, in three of them, I'm of course using Zeus because I have it. Uh, it's pretty much my strongest the hero right now uh, with the highest uh, level of heroic item. But uh, I'll try to show you that you can play epic heroes or even rare heroes with these decks and it will work just fine. Uh, my strategy for all of those games, any deck really in Royal Trials is not to deal as much damage. It is more of a strategy to just outlast your opponent and uh, yeah, so um, that's what I'm trying to do in, in every single uh, game of Royal Trials or any other event as well. So uh, first deck is going to be... Um, Demon Hunter with Zeus, with a Witch uh, to boost my damage, with a Summoner to help to fill up my board, and Dryad of course to increase my merge ranks to help the yeah, merge ranks uh, with Zeus, and Howler Queen to set up my board much faster. Uh, thankfully, to for my uh, counter spells, I don't have that weakening debuff. Um, setup is pretty simple, if you play Zeus, place all of your Demon Hunters on Zeus and merge on your uh, Amulet of Growth tiles. Of course, you don't need to have your Amulet of Growth um, stacks maxed. You can just leave it at 30-40%, just like I said, you, you are not going for the max damage. You are going to basically try to outlast your uh, enemy. And that's it, pretty much. Um, if you're playing with Zeus, of course, press Zeus in early stages, in early waves, uh, as much as you can. Try to not get stuck on your board with Witch on your Zeus tiles or, or anything. If you're not playing Zeus, then of course you are um, setting up your three Demon Hunters on, um, on Amulet tiles. And then you are just going to merge as much as you can on the one amulet tile that you have left and uh, pretty much um, do the setup with which uh, next to your demon hunters with the highest rank and pretty much that that's it it's not that difficult if you think about it uh, just remember you are not going for the highest damage you are just going to try to outlast your uh, your enemy and that's it Alright, so the second deck that I uh, started going for is Bard with Zeus of course, but you can play it with Mermaid, I'm pretty sure you can play it with Gadget as well, Snowflake could work as well, and Jay could work as well too. If you're playing with Zeus, of course place your, place your Knight statue uh, on Zeus style where you can cover the most of your, uh, of your Bards on Zeus's. If you're not playing, um, if you're not playing Zeus, you're playing, for example, Mermaid. If you're playing Jay or on any other hero, then you are placing your uh, Knight statue with the sharpened spear talent, just so it buffs the most of your amulet tiles. So, for example, in this video, uh, in this game, I have two of my tiles in the middle, and then. On the bottom line uh, there are two as well so that where i would uh, i would put my knight statue right so it will buff all of my uh, amulet tiles of course here uh, i'm playing zeus so i will not place my bards on the amulet tiles i will rather place it on zeus tiles again i'm not trying to deal as much damage as possible i'm just trying to outlast my enemy and that's my strategy uh, it, it's going to be uh, repeated by me in every single game pretty much. Uh, I think except one, uh, but I, you, you will have to wait for that. Uh, so what I'm doing is to try to set up all of my bards on the Zeus tiles. As you can see, then I'm trying to merge some of the units on the 
uh, on the amulet tiles while not getting stuck on my night statue being not activated just like you could see uh, in this game uh, after that I'm just trying to get my inspiration level to 75 and then 150 I'm not really trying ever going to for uh, 300 because the game will be just over uh, so I'm just focusing on going for um, 75 and 150 because I can set up then my second accordionist from the level 9 talent and on 150 stacks I can go for uh, the third accordionist um, whenever I get my first accordionist I'm trying to get him as smart as high on merge rank as possible uh, just because it's going to be my main damage dealer uh, for quite a long, I think, few waves um, if you are unlucky with your uh, placements on on Zeus tiles or uh, amulet tiles. Um, if you are not playing Zeus, you could also play um, Scrapper instead of Dryad. Although uh, I would much rather play it with Dryad, but you can also play Harlequin instead of summoner that would be fine as well and then you can play dryad or scrapper uh, summoner is not really giving you much in this deck i just like it because you can um high roll some merge ranks uh, already uh, made so that's why i'm playing but like i said you can play um, harley queen instead of summoner and uh, scrapper instead of dryad both are fine uh, yeah, so that's it for this deck. Um, in the later waves, I'm not really trying to get uh, my inspiration levels. I know that you get some percentage damage from that. Um, but I'm just trying to focus on surviving and killing all of the monsters while my enemy starts to struggle at around 300 to 400 million uh, game. Uh, so yeah, that's it. It's not that hard. You just have to try it yourself and then practice a little bit and don't be scared to try new things out. So on to the next one. Alright, so my third deck is Jay with, uh, with Monk. I think it's one of the strongest decks that you can play. Uh, you can play both talents. You can play Blessing. You can play the the second talent i don't even remember the name but the second one where you collect the stacks um what's my strategy here i'm basically trying to copy as much as many summoners as i can with my harlequin and i try to get my merge ranks as high as i as i can as you can see uh in in this early game uh whenever i'm uh, fine with the merge ranks i'm trying to get my monks on J tiles and also on the uh, amulet tiles uh, because that's where my damage will come from uh, at around wave 2 or wave 3 it depends on the on the luck of course i'm trying to set up my first intersection trying to get my first buffed monk uh, after that i'm trying to um, merge as many blue swords as possible just so it will boost my damage from all of the monks uh, as possible. Uh, after that, uh, I'm just trying to get my tier 1 monks uh, to at least tier 2, tier 3 merge rank, just so I don't lose them uh, from the flamethrower or from tribunal or any other boss that can mess up my setup. And after that, I'm just trying to fill up my board with all of the monks. Um, if you are playing it first time and you are playing on wave 1, wave 2, wave 3 and you don't have your intersection yet, Jay is an excellent hero, uh, it can help you out with, uh, with cleaning up the first bosses so you don't have to worry about the intersection uh, early in the game. Uh, so yeah, that's it, uh, pretty much it's, it's, I think it's the simplest deck that I play, um, that doesn't require you to play Zeus doesn't require to uh, understand the, the unit really because all you have to do is merge on your amulet tiles set up your units uh, main damage dealer which is monk on the on the colorful tiles which is j j tiles and um and, uh, and and amulet tiles of course and 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 that's it pretty much it's nothing nothing difficult so just try it out yourself and tell me how did it went and on to the final, uh, final deck we go, 
and it will be and it will be a sea dog with necro if you don't have necro you can play it with snowflake it's just as good as uh, with um with necro i unfortunately don't even have necro level 15 uh, it's necro level 5 it's more of a uh blocking the units that are on the edges uh, but I've, I'm pretty sure with Snowflake it can work as well. You can even play with play it with Trickster. It it is just so uh, oppressive in the in the event games uh, that your opponent just just loses because he cannot control his um, his board. Uh, it is extremely hard to control your board on an event without all of the talents. So imagine how it is when you're playing uh, some toxic shaman or toxic witch or any other deck of course i'm not playing witch in this deck because i already used you uh, used witch as a unit in other decks so i'm not able to play it so that's why i went for uh, for shaman it is as oppressive as it can get uh, as you could see in this game i'm constantly sending him shaman after shaman and uh, what's what's the most important part is that you have to merge your sea dogs sometimes to activate them and to get your stacks uh, so you actually deal some average damage uh, because games uh, when I play uh, toxic sea um, dog necro or sea dog sea uh, snowflake or any other hero really uh, then uh, I, the games just don't go that far. And so that's it. I'm pretty much uh, merging, 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 merging uh, until my opponent has had, has had enough and he just lost. So yeah, that's it. Uh, let me tell you. Let me know down in the comments what did you think about uh, the decks that I suggested that I'm playing and that I feel comfortable with. And let me know what you played in previous events and if you are going to try out my decks. Uh, yeah, thank you for thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you guys in the next video Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video Please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching